Speaking of Garrett Wilson, our next wide receiver, consensus wide receiver six. And also speaking of Mike White, last year in games started by non-Zach Wilson quarterbacks, uh, (laughs) Garrett Wilson averaged more than 17 fantasy points, six catches, 11 targets, and 82 receiving yards per game, which are easily top 10 wide receiver numbers. Um, Why, pray tell, do we have him ranked at number six? Well, because of Aaron Rodgers. And that addition to this offense, no Jets, comp- no Jets quarterback completed 60% of their passes last season. Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers completed about 64 and a half percent last year and has a career average of more than 65%. Like I'm going to say it nice. I don't even care. It's close <laughs> enough. I, <laughs> like he's, he's, He's going to be a huge upgrade for that offense. Uh, Garrett Wilson and the Jets playoff schedule at Miami, home against Washington, at Cleveland. Mm. Miles Garrett could Cleveland, be feasting Cleveland a little bit. can have some some rough wake effect off of Erie too. Yeah, yeah, they they certainly can. Um, Garrett Wilson, I am higher on him than you are, I believe. And in, in the first podcast, I made some uh, very inappropriate remark that I will not repeat about what I would do to to draft him. His current you ADP been wide receiver four, which is obscene. I do, and i I want the young up and comer with the old Wiley veteran quarterback who's one of the best quarterbacks accuracy wise of all time sure Garrett Wilson sixth in targets last year with just bums throwing the ball with 147 if you can tell me he's going to be a top six target guy he's probably going to be a top five catch guy with with Aaron Rodgers accuracy so sixth most targets with 147 16th most catches with 83 cam newton might as well have been throwing him the ball last year with how inaccurate those those like how big of a swing that is yards 14th with 1103 touchdowns only four um which he might score more than that in the first two weeks this year uh 32nd <laughs> in points per game uh with just over 10 and half ppr uh the jets threw the seventh most passes in football with no quarterback last year uh for comparison uh nathaniel hackett's coming over for denver they threw the 16th most passes but you know it's going to be aaron Rodgers' offense he's going to throw the ball to garrett wilson if you can tell me that you can get garrett wilson in the you know middle end of round two that's fantastic value sign me up fantasy pros has him at 10 we have him at six and damn it i have him at four because i think it's going to be fun to to watch garrett wilson this year bunch of prime time games new york lights are going to be bright like aaron Rodgers mvp talk is going to start out real hot real early and it's going to be because he's just juicing garrett garrett wilson up i've been so excited to finally Give me the rationale on drafting Garrett Wilson. Uh, you will, you mentioned the ADP. It's currently 20 and a half. So yeah. middle end of that second round. I want to chat a little bit about the guys going around him and see. Right. So, so you can take Cooper cup in round one and Garrett Wilson in round two uh, and <sighs> have potentially two, two top six target guys. Yeah. Two top five. Target. Like it's wonderful. I'll give you the two before him and two going after him. And let me know if you agree. Two I'm going to take Garrett Wilson. <laughs> Amon Rasain Brown. Oh, God. It's not even close. Jerry, uh, Josh Jacobs. Okay. <laughs> Jalen Waddle. No. Josh Allen. Uh, I I mean, if if you're in a six point then maybe, but I, I'm still taking the upside of Wilson. I'll give you two more. Tony Pollard and Derrick Henry. Uh, I would take Pollard over him, um, but I would take Wilson over Henry. Okay. Derrick Henry is currently going at ADP of 17.3. Tony Pollard, ADP 23.7. Pollard, yeah, that's just, man. That's still too just, low. It's just so low. <laughs> it's like, is Dalvin signing there or not? We don't know. He's going to be on discount until we figure it out what's going on. All right. Thank you. Love, love Garrett Wilson. It's yeah. 
He's the, a smash man. Like, yeah, he it, he almost kind of reminds me of like Antonio Brown before he went on that bender uh, with the Steelers, where he was just like the number one wide receiver for year after year. And, I, and yeah. you know, there's enough like there's enough really great wide receivers in the NFL that that it's going to be hard to happen. But like, yeah. he like it would not surprise me if if he is a top five wide receiver for the next five years. It just wouldn't surprise me. So I, I'd rather get out in front of it and try to catch it before. And that, cause that's really how you win titles, right? Is, is, Hey, you get a, a pick 20 guy with a, with what you consider to be a, you know, top 10 value. And that's where he ends up. Then you win. Yeah. He's just as hot as the sun. 